Ah, coffee. Nothing like a good cup of joe to get the day started on the right foot. I recently got into this whole pour over process and I gotta say, the method is full of intention. Every pour, every stir, down to the second has its own purpose. Maybe that's what I like most about it. Everything is done for a reason, there's no waste, and it all contributes to the end result, the best cup of caffeine you've ever tasted. Or maybe I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Ron Kwok here. And do you guys remember what it feels like to be able to head out to your local coffee shop, hunker down for a few hours, and really just crank out a ton of work? I know I, for one, have been feeling the cabin fever lately. And with things starting to open up, a lot of us are getting close to, if not already able to, head out to their local daytime watering hole and really get their productivity in the field back on track. Leave that home office behind and really get some work done. So that's why today we're gonna to be talking about my coffee shop loadout, the primary loadout and the gear that I take with me for digital productivity on the go. Coffee shop loadout. Sounds cool, but what the hell are we talking about? Basically, this is everything that I would take with me to a coffee shop to get work done. In my case, editing videos, answering emails, meeting with clients, things of that nature. This loadout is for anyone who can get work done on a laptop. Whether it's something as straightforward as answering emails or web conferencing, all the way up to the creative stuff like videography, photography, graphic design. If you fall into any of these categories, then I'm sure this loadout applies to you and you might find something useful out of the stuff that we are gonna go over today. First up is the laptop, the brains of the operation. I'm currently using the Razer Blade 15. It's a solid mid-tier gaming laptop that checks all the boxes for me and really helps me get the job done. Its technical specs are more than enough for what I needed to do, which is primarily for creating videos on YouTube, editing photos for our Instagram page, which is at livewithpurposeedc, if you wanna check it out for some dope photos, and for creating graphics for the channel. In terms of peripherals, I'm using the Drop Alt Mechanical Keyboard. It's a USB-C keyboard that's 65% format, which means that it's a smaller, more streamlined keyboard with less keys, but still affords you the full functionality of a full-size keyboard. It also has hot swappable key switches, which allows you to really dial in the feel of each keystroke by choosing a custom switch to outfit the keyboard with. I'm also using the Logitech G502 wireless mouse. What's cool about that is that it's very very customizable, the sensitivity can be adjusted, and there's a bunch of customizable macro buttons on the mouse itself that really allows me to improve my workflow. If you guys use programs of any kind, you'll know that hotkeys are a time saver and a hack. Whether it's editing videos or creating graphics, I'm always punching away at those hotkeys, and so to have a few macro buttons on the mouse, it really helps shave those few seconds off of each command, and it really adds up over time. I'm also using the Anchor USB-C hub, and so that expands the number of slots I have have on my laptop. It gives me a few more USB slots, it gives me a USB-C, as well as a SD card slot for me to transfer all my data from my camera once I'm done shooting. I use the Sony WF-1000XM3s. <laughs> That's always a mouthful. It's got great sound for which Sony is known for, adaptive noise cancellation, so I can really zone in when I'm trying to concentrate, and with just a tap, I can listen to what people are saying to me without having to take the headphones off, so that's really convenient. Just hook up the Bluetooth and I can connect to both my phone and my laptop if I wanted to multitask or switch over. Now to store all of my accessories, I've got the MTW Tech Organizer from Moment. Now I made a What's In My Tech Pouch video, I'll go ahead and link that right here, that goes over my basic tech everyday usage gear. But in this case, I've made a few changes to the contents to cater more towards digital productivity, helping me edit videos more efficiently and effectively on the go. Now what's cool about this pouch is that it keeps you very organized. Plenty of dividers, compartments, zips, and elastics to accommodate everything from your cables to your chargers, memory cards, and even a slot for your pen. The organizer is streamlined in a low profile silhouette made from Moment's signature Kadra fabric, which is recycled, weather resistant, and supports a double layer of waterproofing all around. Added a zipper pull for enhanced usage, a quicker in and out, I'll link that video up here. 
I know I personally hate having loose odds and ends in my backpack and when I have to find a certain something I gotta rummage around the whole thing just to find that little memory card that has all my extra footage in it so to have everything organized in one place is absolutely crucial to my workflow so if you want to learn more and get a little slice of organization for yourself links to this organizer are below and finally this entire loadout gets thrown into the in case EO travel backpack in case makes protective gear for laptops and tablets and I've had this backpack for several years now and it's been a workhorse of a backpack. It's got a dedicated laptop sleeve that's padded and furry which is pretty on brand for in case that helps keep your hardware protected and scratch free. Plenty of compartments, zips, and organization for you to throw your tech organizers, headphones, whatever you need into the front pockets, and all the straps you need to secure the package itself, as well as the backpack to your person. All in all, a solid choice for keeping your hardware safe when you're on the go in the field. I also take a few miscellaneous things with me during this time of year where we haven't decided whether we're gonna have warmer days or cold as hell days. I bring with me some wool gloves, but the cool thing about these is that they're fingerless, so I don't lose any dexterity when I'm typing on my keyboard or working the mouse. Doesn't slow me down, productivity stays high. I also either pack a beanie or a cap just to keep my head warm because I got no hair. And of course, a face mask, the hand sanitizer attachment and hub clip from Alpaca just to stay safe and to protect myself and others from COVID during these uncertain times. And that my friends is my coffee shop loadout. The gear that I take with me to stay digitally productive while on the go. I think that covers a lot of bases and if you guys get any sort of work done on a laptop, I really hope that you guys found a portion of this video useful in some form. If you guys did, let me know by hitting that like button down below, subscribing if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I release new content on everyday carry and gear. Until next time, live with purpose. Peace. <sighs> to be notified whenever I release new everyday carry gear. Ah, you're so close. If you guys found this ugh, transitioning to a lighter restrictive, I don't know what the I'm saying. I think the loadout is pretty productive. Oh my God, what am I saying? If you guys enjoyed this one, let me know by hitting that like button down below, subscribing if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I release new videos on everyday carry and gear. I'll see you next time, boom.